the second week of the Tenrai event has gone live. 3 for 3 faced a lot of criticism the first time around and they took in a lot of feedback. So in this video, we're going to look at what has changed this time around for the Yoroi event and you'll be quite happy to see what changed. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video. Like we stated at the top of this video guys, we're covering everything that's changed with the Yoroi event that was different from the first week. Because if you remember, that first week was uh, not that great. So let's not waste more time and just jump right into it guys. If you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's go check out what's new with this time around. So for the special multiplayer mode like we had last time, it's still Fiesta. They just took regular Fiesta I made, the Tenrai version of it. Now if we take a look at the battle pass here, previously you can only gain seven levels. This time you can gain 10 levels per week. And from level 10 and above in the 30 level tiers of this pass, they replace all the XP tokens and challenge swaps with actual content. Like right here, we have the shoulder pad uh, right here at level 10 and level 11. You have a knee pad right here at level 12, 13. You have a pretty sweet armor coating. Here we have the Kabuto helmet, which was not in the previous version of the battle pass. This is what you've seen in all the ads and I'm sure this is what everybody wants. Well, this was taken from the store, added into the battle pass due to community feedback. At level 25, you get this Yokai helmet right here. 28, you get this nice clean battle rifle skin. 29 is where you get these antlers for that same helmet, which I'm sure we've all seen the bots utilizing these antlers. Well, now you'll finally get a chance to be as cool as a bot in Halo Infinite. And for the final tier at level 30, you get the swordsman belt right here, which does look pretty freaking sweet. Now there are still paid premium items that are in the store. So let's go check that out. Cause some of it's pretty cool and some of it's like, eh, I don't know. The Enlightened Path bundle, the big $20 bundle that we get every week, guys. It has this cool effect where like, basically like if you have with the tier 100 with the flames, the same idea with these cherry blossom petals. And like, it does look pretty sweet, but for this whole thing, it's 20 bucks and uh, you get 20 bucks for that effect and a bunch of emblems. That's, that's it. Like, I love that armor effect so much, but the problem is that like, it's just emblems after that, and it's not worth 20 bucks for me to have this effect. This black steel cantana right here does look pretty sweet. You have this attachment for the assault rifle, which kind of gives like this scaled kind of look to it, which is pretty sweet. You have this, actually, the pretty sweet coating as well. Very clean. Actually, almost makes me reminiscent of the watchdog camo that you were supposed to get for 152, but obviously they didn't exactly turn out looking that great. This looks awesome, though. You have the tiger energy charm as well, which looks pretty sweet. And then a bunch of emblems as well, which the emblem itself does look pretty cool, not gonna lie. Uh, but again, just kind of emblems I'm not too crazy about, but this one for 15 bucks, it's like, uh, it's up to perceived value on that one. We have the meditative state pack as well, which this totally reminds me of the Seattle Sonics. When it comes to an armor coating, which I wish I could have this armor coating for my Mark 7 and my Mark 5, I would totally buy it at this point because I'm from Seattle. They stole our Sonics m many years ago. I just wish I was able to use this besides the Yoroi armor set, you know? Comes with a cool headpiece right here. You have a stance as well. You also have a weapon charm on top of that. So for 10 bucks, it's up to your perceived value how you feel about that. And for the last pack, we have the Desert Sun pack here as well, which comes with a unique visor. You also have an armor coating for the Yoroi armor set here. A, also a coating for your Mark 5B. Again, like this is what I'm talking about. Give me some of this cross core colorization, dude. Like I would love to have this for that same Yoroi armor set right here. Like this would be amazing. So if you feel so inclined to buy something and treat yourself, you definitely can do that. But there is another way you can treat yourself, and that's by going to TryTreats.com. There you can explore beyond your borders what tasty snacks other countries are enjoying. Such countries like Russia, France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. And this time we're exploring the country of Russia. For the motherland! And well, all these treats are written in Russian, so I can't really understand them, but it comes with a nice card right here to tell you exactly what you're eating, because you know me, I'm all about the details. Yeah, yeah, he said it, he said it. So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in, trytreats.com has got you covered. If you're interested, check out the link in the pinned comment down below, guys. And if you're looking to subscribe to one of their boxes, use code KevinCoolX for 15% off your purchase. When you do, it helps support the channel as well. Do not falter! 
Victory is at hand! If you have any questions, check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials. And thank you trytreats.com for your support and let's get right back into the video here. Now let's take a look at the challenges. Now have they changed anything from this? A little bit more on the back end, but in the front end from what you're going to be playing, you're going to be playing Fiesta to get your unlocks. As we have win one Fiesta match, kill enemy Spartans in a Fiesta match 10 times, that's pretty straightforward. Earn a double kill in Fiesta, that can be a little time consuming, but it's doable. Earn assists in Fiesta and complete Fiesta matches two times over. And for the weekly chat ultimate guys, we have the Shiabuchi, if I pronounce that correctly, visor color as well. Now 343 did state that they will prioritize these challenges within your weekly set of challenges as that was a big point of concern when it came to the last time we had Yoroi where you had to do a ton of challenge swaps just to get a Yoroi challenge. That's what I was saying on the back end of the things, they changed up to where you'll be getting these challenges more frequently. And like I said with this battle pass guys, you'll be able to earn 10 tiers this week instead of the previous week of seven. So let's just jump into a Fiesta match and see if we can get some challenges completed. All right, so I've been blessed starting off with a sniper rifle and a battle rifle. So there we go. We got one. Oh, look at that. Starting off with a kill. Heck yeah, that's how you do it, man. This one's actually spotting in Fiesta. Are they sweating in Fiesta over here? I mean, it helped me out get that kill right there pretty easily. Oh, just get absolutely evaporated there, buddy. So Fiesta has always been kind of a fun mode that I've always enjoyed playing just because it's just like a like the ultimate just hangout chill mode. Oh my God. Well, at least I traded with them. <laughs> I mean, Fiesta was always one of the top most played modes in Halo 5. Well, one thing, because in Halo 5, you had Super Fiesta, which I really hope some of those cool weapon variants that we have in Halo Infinite come into Fiesta, because that would make this mode way more fun. Uh, no word on, I mean, the three, only thing 3, three for 3 is even recognized that those weapons are even in the multiplayer in some capacity. That's certainly one way to really freshen things up with this mode, because right now it's fun. Don't get me wrong, like Fiesta's always been a fun casual mode. But if you add in those weapon variants, oh my gosh, guys. Now we're getting, now we're talking when it comes to some serious fun. Because I feel like that kind of plays into like the feel of Fiesta where it's not really about like trying to do well or anything like that. It's more just like having fun, blowing stuff up and you get to have some weapons that you usually maybe not even have a chance to play around with a lot of times. Or just kind of try out some different kind of combinations and stuff like that. Oh, can we get the smash? Can we get the smash? Oh, we got the smash. Oh, this guy wants to smash with me? You want to smash with me? Oh, that's kind of weird to say it that way. <laughs> what? That didn't count? Dude. I'm going to grapple shot on the floor here. Because you always got to use the grapple shot whenever you get a chance. Hey oh, you love to see it. I love this grapple shot, dude. It's so much fun. Got to make sure I get my 10 kills or whatever. I have to get a few kills this month. Here. Oh, can we get a double? Can we double it? Yeah, we go. Oh, still got him, though. <laughs> Even that drop ball can help you, man. Yeah, I would like to see that drop ball get buffed a little bit. I think it's a little lackluster. It's just on the panels. Like, I don't want to see, like, a crazy buff when it comes to that drop ball. I don't want it to be, like, the Halo 3 bubble shield where that actually, honestly, like, would annoy me a lot playing against that. But I think uh, if you just kind of buffed up the damage on those panels a bit, I think it would be a little bit better suited for the sandbox of Halo Infinite. I'm also glad to see that Fiesta is a permanent mode within Halo as well, just because it's just one of those ultimate casual modes out there because you need the casual... Because you need to cater to the casual audience in some capacity, right? You can't just be like straight up all sweaty all the time, kind of like how Halo 5 was at launch where I think there wasn't even a social mode in Halo 5's launch. It was all just ranked and everything in between. So. You need to have something a little bit more casual, which that's exactly what Fiesta is. Oh my God, that was a good shot. Because I remember playing a time with some friends uh, at work, right? And I brought Halo Reach for us to play like during like a downtime at work. And uh, everyone, you know, I played a Team Slayer. We played it a little bit. I completely smashed them because I like, I knew all the power weapon spawns and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, okay, Kevin's cheating, whatever. Cause he only plays Halo. Let's put on Fiesta. And then what happened, lo and behold, they end up having some good fun. Oh, you're trying to harpoon me, buddy, with that bull truth? Not happening, but can I return the favor? So it's just one of those like personal examples that I have when it comes to utilizing Fiesta as like a fun casual version of playing Halo. And I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way as well, where just like, you know, sometimes you just want to hang back and just blow stuff up. And that's exactly what Fiesta is for. I mean, I don't know why like Halo 5 tried doing ranked Fiesta there for a while. Oh, wait, can I get him? Can I get him? Yeah, can I get him? Yeah, there we go. But I mean, it was... I think it's one of those times where like, yeah, sure, why not ranked Fiesta? <laughs> but uh, I mean, I never really tried for it, but I can imagine it being pretty fun. Slice and dice. God, the grapple shot sword combo is so lethal in this game. It's amazing. Oh my God, you got him. You had to do it to him like that. 
Oh, do it again, do it again. Oh, he had rockets. No. Dude, like the one thing that could have stopped me right there. The one thing. So did we get some challenges completed that time? I don't think we did. Maybe? Oh, kill 10 Spartans. There we go. We ranked up one level on our Yorba Battle Pass. It was an XP grant because I'm like level 8 right now. Once you get to level 10 and above, that's where you get the real good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.